Hi everyone and welcome to this video. I did say that I was going to do a video like this and also a couple of people have said yes they would like to see it and they would find it helpful and basically I'm going to be doing a book talking about the reading order and everything, everything you need to know about going into the Shadowhunter Chronicles by Cassandra Clare because there are so many series within this like universe and there's also some like little companion books and little mini series like spin-off kind of series and stuff and it's just yeah it's a bit overwhelming there's a lot of books to go through so I've got them all here I don't actually own all of her books but I've read most of them so there are a few that I haven't read but I, I do know what order I will be reading them in and what order I've heard that you should read them in and then also some of the books like the companion books I did own but I got rid of them because I knew I wasn't going to reread them again so I've just kept the main series but yeah anyway I will be going through every single one so I've written down on my notes here all the order and everything and I'm just going to go through them with you so basically Cassandra Clare's universe that she's created is based in modern day and it focuses on these things which are called shadow hunters which are they're human but not quite human they've got these abilities they basically hunt demons in this world so yeah it's it's based in our world so it's not like a made up world or anything but there are like parts of the world which are made up but you'll understand when you read it like there's a place there's obviously a hell and then there's also like they have the shadow hunters have their own country which is also made up it's sort of it's based in our world but there are other lands and there's also the fairy lands as well so obviously that's not real either but yeah I'm gonna just get into the first ones that I would recommend you to read in this series. Just get some of my other books out of the way so I can actually reach the ones that I need to. The longest and the first series in this universe is the Mortal Instruments series, but I wouldn't recommend reading them from the first one to the last one. There are other ones that you're meant to read sort of in between to get the full experience, I would say. And this series focus on, focuses on a character called Clary. She doesn't know anything about this world, but she realizes that she's got the sight and she can actually see shadow hunters, she can see demons, she can see all these like magical things. And also like her mum goes missing and there's all this stuff that goes on and you get to meet a huge cast of characters which become one of my favorite like group of characters ever in the whole world they're just I feel like because I've read so many books with them in I just they're like comfort characters to me um, and I know a lot of people aren't a huge fan of this series I really enjoyed it but mostly for the like nostalgia and also just the characters I feel like I get there are some issues with the plot line which um you will if you know you know and you will know when you read what those issues are but overall I just absolutely love this series so much and I've read it a couple of times the first book in the series is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare these are the old covers there are now new covers out but I've still got the really old covers I'm kind of attached to these old covers to be honest because I've owned them for so so long and I just don't want to ever get rid of them. Book one is City of Bones so I recommend starting with that one out of all of the Shadowhunter books in the whole universe pick up this one first and then the second book is City of Ash Ashes and then the third book is City of Glass. So I would recommend you to read these three first, start off with these three, and then you wanna have a little break from this series. And then I think you should read the Infernal Devices series, which is another series, it's a, a three book series, so there's only three books in this series. And these books are set in Victorian England, and they follow a completely different set of characters, but there are a couple of characters from the other book, other series, which show up in these ones. And then there's also some characters towards the end of this book, which then show up in the later Mortal Instruments books which is why I recommend to read these three in the middle of the Mortal Instruments series because also if you get to the other three books in the Mortal Instruments series you will be spoiled for this series you'll find out some spoilers so to avoid spoilers completely and to get the full experience definitely read these three next and this series is a lot more popular a lot of people absolutely adore this series and yeah I'm one of them I remember crying my eyes out at the last book because there's like a love triangle and it's just so sweet but so heartbreaking and it just literally cracked my my heart in two when I read the final few chapters of the last book so it's just an amazing experience so anyway yeah this series is the next series to read so it consists of Clockwork Angel which is the first book and then Clockwork Prince the second book and then Clockwork Princess the final one so yeah read the first three books in the Mortal Instruments series and then read the entire Infernal Devices series and then finally, you can read the rest of the Mortal Instruments series, which is City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, 
and City of Heavenly Fire. And then that concludes that series. Um, and you will see these characters again in other series, but I will get to that. So that is the first nine books that you want to read. And then if you do want to read like companion novels within this series, I mean, you don't have to, they're not essential, but if you do want to, then there is the Shadowhunters Codex. I'll put a picture of it up here, which is basically a book that like Clary and Simon use throughout the, the Mortal Instruments series and it's like a copy of their book which tells you about the Shadowhunter universe. It's sort of like a little, it's like a non-fiction book in their world. It's obviously fiction to us but it's non-fiction to the Shadowhunters. So it's a book that they'd use to like find out more about vampires, werewolves, the fae, about runes and that sort of thing. So I'd recommend you read it if you want like more. And there's also some little notes written by Clary, Jason, Simon, which are three of the main characters in the Mortal Instruments series, scribbled into this book because it's actually like their copy, which is pretty cool. So that's just a little extra one that you can read, but I'd recommend probably reading it after reading the Mortal Instruments series, just because there may be a couple like little spoilers here and there. And then also now would probably be the time to read The Bane Chronicles, which is a collection of short stories based around one of the main characters, Magnus Bane, and he's basically a character that appears in every single one of the um, series in her universe. He's like one of the main characters, he's immortal, so he's lived for a long time, he shows up in all of them, he's a really great character, I love him, he's really funny, and yeah, he's just a very, very unique character. A lot of people do really like him, so this is just a collection of little short stories of his life, and again, there may be a few spoilers of the Mortal Instruments and Infernal Devices series within this within this little collection so I probably recommend to read those first and then read this little collection after you're finished. I didn't enjoy this collection as much as I was thinking I would because I love Magnus Bane as a character, he's such a good character but I'm just not really a fan of this book, I just thought some of the stories weren't very interesting, I didn't care for all of them, some of them were good, some of them weren't but again if you just want to know more about the character and his backstory and other things that have happened in his life then yep go ahead and read this one and then also Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy is another book full of little short stories but the little short stories kind of like follow on from each other and create one big story so it is kind of mini stories but it seems kind of like one big book I don't know if that makes sense but I don't own this book either I did read it um, and I did actually quite enjoy this one it was quite sad at the end as well. But 100% do not read this book until you have finished the Mortal Instruments series because there are major, major spoilers which will spoil the ending of the Mortal Instruments series. So definitely read this one after that series and then read this one before the next series that I'm gonna go on to. So after you've read the, those series and those little mini books, if you want to, they're optional, you don't have to, then you should go on to this series, which I've actually just finished not too long ago, which is which is the Dark Artifices series. And this consists of three books again. And these are also set in modern day, but they follow after the events of the Mortal Instruments series. And there are characters that show up in the Mortal Instruments series, which these books are based around, the family that they're based around. And also the main characters from the Mortal Instruments series do show up in this series as well so they all all the series within her universe interconnect and that is what I love so much about her universe she's so good at writing characters and character dynamics and stuff and I just love them so much but anyway this series consists of Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows and Queen of Air and Darkness and this one is a very big one this took me a couple weeks to get through because it's very very long and also she likes to write really long chapters which I'm not a huge fan of it makes me take a bit longer to get through. So anyway, that is the next series that you should probably read, and that is just a trilogy as well. And again, if you do want to read this series on its own, it might not make very much sense. I mean, it probably will a little bit, but mm, I don't know. I definitely wouldn't re recommend reading this series on its own. Definitely read the Mortal Instruments series at least before this, because otherwise they won't make a huge amount of sense and there'll be lots of important things that you'll be missing going into these. And then after you've read that series, you should go on to Ghosts of the Shadow Market, which is another collection of little short mini stories. And these short stories are based around a character called Jem, which is a character that shows up in the other series, all of the other series. I think he appears in all of them. But yeah, this is recommended to read after you've read all of those other series that I've mentioned previously. I haven't actually read this one yet. This is the next one on my to read list for this universe. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this one again is an optional one. You don't have to read it, but if you want the full experience and to know more about 
about these characters then I recommend reading this one as well and yeah I'll let you know my thoughts when I've read it but I'm hoping I really enjoy this one and then after that there's another trilogy that she's written which come which are based back in like the past again I'm not sure what kind of era this is set in but it's set sort of just after the Infernal Devices series I'm pretty sure I think it's based around the couple from this book is based around their kids and that that's where I think that series connects in with them but I haven't actually read that series yet either I don't own it but it's definitely on my to buy list and hopefully yeah I'll get to them at some point soon but I want to read the Ghost of the Shadow Market first. This series is called The Last Hours Trilogy and I was just looking up on my phone on Goodreads just to double check I get the titles right and the right order. So first it's Chain of Gold and then it's Chain of Iron and then Chain of Thorns. So they're the next ones to read and that's all of the main books in the order that I think you should read them in. But there are also two other books which I don't I'm not sure entirely when you should probably read these but I read them just after reading the Mortal Instruments series which is where I think it makes the most sense. So you've got the first three books in the Mortal Instruments series, then you've got the three books in the Infernal Devices series and then the next three books in the Mortal Instruments series then that is where I would read these books. And these books I don't, I did own but I got rid of them because I didn't actually enjoy them that much. Even though they're based around some of my favourite characters, I just wasn't really a huge, huge fan. And this series is called The Eldest Curses series. The first book is The Red Scrolls of Magic, and these books follow Magnus Bane, who I've mentioned before, who had his own like mini book collection, and another character, which I'm not going to tell you because it could be a little spoiler for some of the Mortal Instruments series, so I'm not going to tell you who the book's about other than Magnus Bane. There's that book, and then there's also the second book, The Lost Book of the White. And then, on called, according to Goodreads, there is a third book, coming out called the black volume of the dead but it's been like that for ages on goodreads and there's no like news about it or anything so i'm not sure if that's actually going ahead but these two books actually take place at the same time as some of the mortal instruments books so yeah i'd probably recommend to read them after the mortal instruments books if you do want to read them but as i said i wasn't actually a huge fan of these books despite loving the characters and that is literally the reading order that i would recommend to read them in so i know this is quite a short video but i know a lot of people had been asking what's the best order to read them in and it's just so overwhelming with the amount of books so i'm going to quickly very very quickly run through the books again in the order that i would say to read them in and then i'll also leave them in the description below so that you can see the order written down in a list form which might be quite useful but I really hope if you are just jumping into this series I really hope you enjoy it because yeah I just love this whole universe all of the books like all the main series I've absolutely adored a couple of the little companion ones not my favorite but all of the main series I loved every single one City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Princess, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, City of Heavenly Fire, Shadowhunters Codex, the Bane Chronicles, The Red Scrolls of Magic, The Lost Book of the White, Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy, Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, Queen of Air and Darkness, Ghost of the Shadow Market, Chain of Gold, Chain of Iron, and Chain of Thorns. So I really hope you found this useful. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you have read this some books in this universe, please leave in the comments below which one was your favourite. I would love to know because I know everyone has kind of different opinions. And thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.